Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to snap blocks to a grid in the Architect Simulator project. So you may have noticed in the example project that I've got that the blocks kind of move a little weird. It's not super smooth. However, whenever I use them, they always snap perfectly in alignment with each other when they're on the same uh, location. So you'll notice that I can't actually snap in between this space right here or in between these other spaces. So the closest I can get for all of these is something like this. So I can't get any closer than that. Now, the reason why it's able to do that is because I'm using this equation right here. So instead of using a motion block that is making it go to the mouse pointer, I'm using this uh, equation where you are taking the mouse x, you're dividing it by 16, and you're rounding that whole thing, and you're multiplying it by 16, and you're doing that for the mouse y, and you put it inside of there, and oh my gosh, what's going on? Let's talk through it real quick. Okay, so to create this, we're actually going to uh, need a few different blocks. So one thing you're going to need is a go-to block. You only need one of these. You're going to need a sensing block, and you're going to use the mouse X and the mouse Y. And then you're going to need some operator blocks. You're actually going to need two of each of these. So you're going to need two rounds, uh, two of the multiplies, multiply, why did I say it like that? Multiply, and two of the divides. Cool, looks extra messy. Let me kind of put these near each other. All right, so now that I've got these, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take my mouse X and put it in the divide. So see how you can move this? Put it inside of there, cool. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and put this in the round. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it inside the left side right here. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it in the X because it's mouse X, X. And I'm going to add in some numbers, 16 and 16. Okay, then you do the same thing for the mouse Y blocks because we're going to put them in here. So we start off, goes into the left side, put this whole thing inside of the round. Oops, that didn't work. Inside the round, put this whole thing inside of here, and then put this whole thing inside of here. So 16 and 16. And that's how you construct this equation. Okay, so without getting too nerdy with this, uh, let me explain what's going on with this code. I'm going to make this a bigger number so it's easier for you to see what's going on. So 64 and 64. So if my mouse is anywhere between 0 and 63, it's going to make this block always appear in the middle. But if my mouse moves between 64 and 128, it's going to make it so that the block snaps over 64. And it just keeps doing this uh, every 64, okay? So if I click here and click right here, I can't go in between these two positions. All I can do is snap it like this. I can't go anywhere in the middle of this. If I change this to a larger or smaller number, like 32, 32, now when I do this, I can move my X position in between here like this, but because I didn't change the Y, I can only stay up here or down here. So what this equation is basically doing is it's making it so that you can only snap the block to whatever number you have here, however many pixels wide, which is X, or tall, which is Y, okay? So a little weird, a little complicated, but follow the steps that I showed you in this video and in the guide that's below this and add it into a go to X with mouse X and go to Y with mouse Y and change these numbers to make it so that it will always snap to a very specific grid and then you'll have perfectly looking architecture in your own project. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.